In this Samsung Galaxy S3 tutorial, I will demonstrate how you can transfer files from your computer, like either pictures or music, to your Galaxy S3 using the Android app AirDroid. Now you basically go to the Google Play Store and type in AirDroid and click on it in the search box here. And then I'll take you to the uh, apps entry in the Google Play Store. And here you see I already have it installed. So I just have the open option here, but you'd basically click install and let the program install on your uh, phone. And then when you're ready, you open AirDroid. And basically, uh, as long as your phone and your computer are both connected to your Wi-Fi on the same network, it basically gives you an address that here, you can see it, uh, 192.168. something. Uh, it depends on what kind of router you have in your network. But it gives you basically an address that you're going to type into a web browser on your computer. And once you do that, that allows your uh, computer and phone to be connected and transfer files back and forth. So here you can see uh, once I've connected to it from my laptop, it's basically asking permission for the laptop to connect to the phone. So you're going to want to click accept. And then now the two are connected. And anytime you want, you can click the disconnect button. But then I'm going to show you on the laptop uh, what it looks like to connect. Uh, when you type in the address, go in your browser, type in the address and then connect from your computer. So here we are in Google Chrome and basically you type the address that's displayed in the phone. So in my case it was 192.168.0.198 and then you put a colon and basically that's for the port and the port is 8888. And once you have that entered in you hit enter and then it basically uh, it tells you to uh, accept the connection on your phone, which I did previously. And then here's what the interface looks like uh, when you're on your computer and in your web browser. This is a, a basic version of the program. There's also a more advanced one, but I'm just basically going to cover the, the, the basic one here. So when you want to upload a file or folder, you come over on the right side here. And here I'm going to demonstrate by uploading a folder full of pictures. And you can also do just an individual file if there's just one thing you wanted to uh, move from your computer. So once you click on the folder box, it basically gives you a chance to go through the contents of your computer's hard drive, the basic file open dialog box, and find a folder that you'd like to upload to the phone. So here I'm basically looking for a uh, folder full of pictures I'm going to use. and you choose the folder and click OK and then it basically starts uploading the files to your uh, phone now if you see the look there, the uh, gives you where it's uploading it to, the folder on your phone and in this uh, case it's the AirDroid upload folder so you can see the progress and it's uploading pretty quickly over the wireless network here and up here it gives you the amount of storage space on both your built-in memory and your SD card. So here I might actually go into the uh, files on my phone by clicking, double-clicking on the files folder. And these are all the different folders that are uh, on my Galaxy S3. Now, as the uh, progress indicator on the right there says, this, uh, this, files are, this folder and files are being uploaded to the AirDroid upload folder. So if you go into the AirDroid folder by double-clicking on it, and then if you go into the uh, upload folder by double-clicking on it, you can see there's the folder that I chose to upload. And if I double-click on that, it'll show me the files that it's uploaded so far and also shows the new ones as are actually being uploaded onto the phone. By clicking that you can refresh the amount of space that is shown for your uh, different storage on your phone. And the problem with my phone is SD card so it's not displaying it 100% correct on the second entry there but your phone uh, it should work okay with. Now the folder has been uploaded and here I'm going to show you how you can also do other file operations and this 
point, I'm going to move the folder from the AirDroid Upload folder to another location. So I'm going to basically get right click on it and click Cut. And that won't copy it to where I'm going. It'll actually move it to the folder. So I'm going to go onto my uh, external SD card. And I'm basically going to go into my Downloads folder. And actually going to paste that entire folder I just uploaded into my Downloads folder on my SD card. Now this is going to take some time, but it's basically just doing a transfer internally on the phone from the internal memory of my Galaxy S3 to the uh, micro SD card I have installed, which is a 64 gig micro SD card. So you see here it's successfully moved the uh, folder onto my uh, SD card. And then basically when you're done, just hit the uh, power button up here, and that will close down your session with your phone uh, on the laptop or your computer. And then basically I'll show you uh, how to disconnect uh, from your computer actually on the phone uh, from in the AirDroid app. So basically here, once you're in the app and you're finished, click disconnect, and it disconnects you from the laptop. And then if you go up to the upper right corner here, it actually gives you the option to exit the app click OK, and then that closes AirDroid. If you like this video, uh, please give it a uh, thumbs up below. And also, if you like my videos, uh, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.